With all the new members of the preparedness community, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about something that a lot of people might not realize. Although we try to support local businesses and small businesses, a lot of new preppers are getting a lot of their gear on Amazon, which makes sense because it's very easy to access and it's there. However, there is some gear that you actually should not buy on Amazon no matter what. And there's some reasons behind that that you need to know in order to not waste your hard earned dollars on actual crap. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper. Today we're talking about how Amazon has some issues you need to know about when it comes to buying higher end gear for preparedness. This is something that I recently experienced and wanted to share with you all so you could be a little bit more aware of some of the dangers of making these higher level, higher cost purchases on Amazon when it comes to certain preparedness gear, generally related to firearms, accessories, and the like. Now, here's what you need to understand, is that there are a ton of options on Amazon and a lot of great deals on Amazon. However, there's a huge, huge web of counterfeit products that is interweaved into Amazon's dealings. And it's so big at this point that often when you buy something that should be very high end, rugged or durable, it actually is just cheap Chinese crap that somebody either switched out using the Amazon warehouse program as a return, AKA product laundering, which is a new crime that a lot of people are committing, or they actually are producing these fakes that are so identical to the real thing that they're being passed off as the real thing, as being authentic. Now, I'll give you a quick anecdote. I recently was in the market for a Surefire flashlight, right? A weapon light, it's the M340V. It's something I want for a new project I'm working on, and no one has it in stock except for Amazon, right? So knowing what I already know, and based on the fact that Amazon is full of fraud when it comes to counterfeit products, I called Surefire and actually had a talk with them. And I asked them directly. I said, look, I can't find this light anywhere else but on Amazon. I don't really want to buy it there. Is there any safe way to buy it to verify or guarantee that I'll be able to get an authentic Surefire product by doing so? And the answer I got was, no, we can't actually guarantee you you will get an authentic Surefire product from Amazon just because of how large it is. And they are extremely aware of the fact that counterfeit Surefire lights exist all over Amazon and people get them. And in fact, even the serial number can be copied to the point where they can't verify things even just based off of that. The only thing that Surefire could have done for me if I was to buy a light off of Amazon and actually receive it, then I would have to send them photos and then they could check and try to verify whether or not it was a real product. And that's not good enough for me when we're talking about what might be a $400 flashlight. And this is a big issue that a lot of new people in the preparedness community might not be aware of. It's something you need to know about. This can happen to Streamlights, Surefires, and it can happen to some of the higher end red dot sites as well as some of the holographic sites out there because Chinese copies are becoming very, very good. And in fact, most of the time, the items actually work correctly as well. But there's little tiny details that they're missing in the sense of fitment, in the sense of machining, and in the sense of circuitry that just doesn't work as well as the real product. So many people will be buying these high-end expensive items like Trijicon MROs or RMRs or possibly Aimpoint Comp M5s, which you gotta love Aimpoint, their product is so good in their opinion, they can just give you a piece of crap cardboard box, um, but even EOTech holographic sites the ones that are being made in China as counterfeits look exactly the same, have all of the markings, and actually function properly. The problem is you won't know it's fake unless you check with the manufacturer directly or if you're out using it and it suddenly fails. And both of those situations are unacceptable. So this is something you need to know. When it comes to ordering things on Amazon, and this is kind of ironic because very soon here I'll be talking about an Amazon Prime deal with one of the channel sponsors, EcoFlow, right? But here's the thing to consider. When things are already made in China, you're usually safe in the sense of ordering them off Amazon because they're already being made in China and counterfeiting them doesn't make a lot of sense, now does it? But when you're talking about high-end products like Surefire, EOTech, Trijicon, Aimpoint, things that aren't necessarily made in China and have a higher level of prestige, well, 
those fakes can be made to look very similarly, but at a much, much lower price point, which makes it an extremely profitable endeavor. Whereas if things are already made in China or already on the cheaper end, there's not as much of a profit margin, which means there's not as much of an incentive for these counterfeits to be produced. So one thing you can do is you can always verify the seller and make sure you're buying things that are sold and shipped directly from amazon.com or sold by the actual manufacturer, which you will see on some listings. But if you go to order a Surefire flashlight, let's say like I was looking for, and then the best deal is from <clears throat> the seller ILLJIBB, maybe you shouldn't actually order that. And even the ones that come directly from Amazon, from Surefire's Amazon storefront, I was told directly by them, they can't verify whether or not that's going to work properly or if it's going to be a real authentic product. And that is a big issue. So look, obviously we try to support companies directly. We try to support small businesses. We wanna buy American if we can. But a lot of people still are gonna shop on Amazon because it has the user friendliness and it is very easy to just order everything when all of your account information is already there and you get the free shipping and all that stuff. Totally understand it, but just be careful about what you're ordering. Keep this in mind, okay? This is important stuff. If you're gonna buy a high-end optic or a really nice flashlight or anything in that realm that costs a little extra, you might wanna spend the extra money and order it from a verified or valid distributor. Other companies that you know for a fact are vetted and actually authorized to sell these products. That's gonna be a big deal in the sense of getting what you need because we're talking about preparedness and you don't wanna get some piece of crap Chinese counterfeit item when you wanted the real deal, rugged, durable, long-lasting reliability of some of these products, and instead you got the worst thing you could have got in the sense of an airsoft optic or light. And that is not what we wanna do, so I don't wanna see anyone waste their money, and I don't wanna see anybody get scammed and not even realize it, because that's generally what happens. People don't even know that they bought a counterfeit item. It looks really good. It comes in the right packaging. There's really no reason for you to assume it's wrong until it is, and that is the biggest issue. Look, as somebody who may or may not dabble in Magic the Gathering, I can tell you that if you are even buying Magic the Gathering products on Amazon right now, there's a good chance that they're either fake or they've already been opened and resealed, and that's a whole nother conversation, but people are losing money even when it comes to trading cards. So you can only imagine what they do to things like holographic weapon sites and everything else related to it. So I wanted to put out this little bit of a PSA to let you know that you need to be careful and when it comes to certain items, don't order them on Amazon. And I'm caveating this conversation with you because I do provide Amazon links to certain items in the description or I have an Amazon storefront which allows you to get the ideas of certain other items, but most of the time if it's coming up to very expensive things, we're talking three, four, five hundred dollars and more, I'm gonna order them directly from either the manufacturer or from a valid, verified third-party seller, okay? These are things you definitely wanna keep in mind. And at the end of the day, like I said, when I'm talking about a Prime Day deal going on with EcoFlow here in the near future, just keep it in mind that they are the ones who sent me that information and sent me the links that go directly to them. So, and their products are made in China, which we all know when it comes to solar, pretty much everything is. But what I'm trying to say is, there are things you can get on Amazon which are gonna be fine. But I just want you to be aware of the things that might not be, and I want you to understand that I've talked to many manufacturers about this exact situation, they all tell me the same thing. They cannot verify authenticity of Amazon products, and if they can, a lot of times they're gonna find fakes. And one thing I will say is, the other thing you wanna watch out for is old stock. Because one thing I ran into in the past was that I bought a Safari Land holster adapter. It was meant to be able to drop your holster down just a little bit lower. Well, the seller I got it from, from Amazon, right, basically sold me something that was out of date where the holes had been drilled um, incorrectly. So the holes in the adapter didn't line up correctly with the holster. I talked to Safari Land. They said, hey, that's just old stock. It was an issue. We fixed it, but a lot of these things are still floating around out in the aether. So if you order directly from us, you're not going to have that problem, but we can't guarantee you're not going to get some old stock that doesn't work properly out in Amazon land. That's just how it works. So be mindful about what you're ordering through places like Amazon. Be mindful that people are getting more and more desperate in the world and trying to find other ways to make some extra cash and be aware of the fact that even if it costs more directly from the manufacturer or if it costs more from a verified third-party outlet, 
it might be worth it for the peace of mind that you're getting actual authentic gear that you're spending your hard-earned dollars on, especially nowadays when our dollars are going even less far than pretty much they've ever gone before, at least in our lifetime. So just wanted to get this out there, let you all know. Leave comments below if you've been burned by counterfeit Amazon items and crap that you didn't really want, but you got anyway. And give anyone else some anecdotal evidence of it so that you can hopefully warn them about falling into that same trap. I hope this information was beneficial. I'm just trying to help you out and give you some ideas to think about and consider when you're trying to upgrade your preparedness level. And besides that, that's gonna be it for Magic Preference.